Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on business studies. Um, today we're going to talk about price elasticity of demand, which is the final bit of the pricing topic under the marketing mix. So we're going to know what PED means and what it is used for, useful for at least. Now, PED basically relates to the change in price and how it affects demand. So like the woman on my right, you see her with a lot of clothes on her. Uh, perhaps she's just gone shopping because of a sale. Uh, and when we talk about sales, we talk about price being reduced. So when price is reduced, most of the time in the sale condition, demand is greatly affected. But how affected is it in the sense of elastic or inelastic right so sometimes a price change has significant effect on demand and that's where we say this demand is very the prices you know have an uh, elastic demand right or the price would have an inelastic demand where an increase or decrease in price does not have a severe impact on demand or sales let's learn more okay now, so how is PED measured? It is measured using the percentage change in quantity demanded versus the percentage change in price. So there are two things that we need to get out of this uh, equation first. We need to calculate it separately, identifying what is the percentage of change before you can divide them, right? So the percentage of change and how do you do that? You will need to find two things, the change versus the original. All right, so the change here refers to if let's say we're talking about quantity demanded, we need to look at the original quantity demanded versus the new quantity, all right? And uh, likewise, when you do for price, it's also the same thing, right? Uh, the change in the original price versus the um, new price uh, uh, and, and vice versa. Okay, so that's where you will get the percentage. We will show you a calculation after this so it makes more sense to you. Now, from this formula above, you will get two kinds of results, right? Sometimes you'll get a result of less than one. A result of less than one tells you that demand is not very responsive to price change. So even if you were to increase price, sometimes demand will just drop very little, okay? So basically there's not such a major impact in demand okay so percentage of change in demand is lesser than percentage change of price so how do you interpret this is based it basically means that for every 10 percent increase in price demand may drop by five percent all right so f firms may choose to still increase prices if they want to still make a little bit more money without losing too much sales okay now, if price is elastic, you may get a result of more than one, okay, which means that demand is very responsive to change. People react a lot. When you, were to, when you choose to increase price, they may choose to not buy so much anymore, okay, they, right? So, the percentage change in demand is greater than the percentage change in price. So, every increase uh, in, um, you know, uh, selling price will cause demand to drop greater than the percentage of change in the price that you have increased. So normally, this is not too good. Firms may choose to lower price so that they can still continue making money. Okay. Now, let's make more understanding out of this by using a calculation or an example of a calculation. So there, we, there you go the, at the bottom, you see the formula again, the change in quantity demanded over the change in quantity, uh, sorry, change in price. And we have some information here. The uh, price one refers to the original price. Price two refers to the new price. And the quantity one refers to uh, how much it is sold at price one, $5, which, which is at 270 units. And price two, when the price drops to $4, quantity, the new quantity um, demanded or sold becomes 300 units. So clearly you can see here with a price drop 
comes an increase in quantity. But how elastic is this? You know, how responsive is this? Let's put it into calculation. So we have the, the change and original pricing to be made into percentage first before you can do the full calculation. So let's look at the quantity change. So as you can see, 300 is the new quantity versus the old quantity minus 270 that gives you 30 units versus 270 units, which is the original quantity demanded. This gives you 11.11%. Okay, now when we look at price, we put the old, uh, yeah, the new price first, which is four dollars, minus five dollars, which is the, which is the original price, versus five dollars, and that gives you a negative figure, all right, of negative twenty. When you put them together into the calculation at the bottom here, eleven point one one over minus twenty that gives you a result of minus 0 0.5. Okay, so minus 0 0.5 is less than 1, which is price inelastic. Okay, so this means in the future, if this business looks at increasing price, they can still do it slowly without affecting demand greatly. Okay, minus 0 0.5. So it doesn't, this it shows that this product is not too responsive too responsive to demand but at the same time it's important to note that as prices are increased if this is the action the business is looking at taking because they see that demand drops very little compared to the price change uh, customers may pick up on it that businesses are trying to manipulate them by keeping on keeping increasing uh, prices yeah and this will eventually affect demand and move the BED from inelastic to elastic Okay, so how is this useful for businesses, right? So you need to have some past information about your sales, put the figures together and you'll be able to see how, how demand was affected by your previous pricing so that you can forecast potential sales in the future and whether or not you want to increase prices. But this should not be the main base. Yeah, because this is only looking at price and demand. It's what other factors that businesses should look at is also, you know, what is your cost of your production? You know, how about other businesses out there, your competitors? What are your business objectives and whether or not this is a new or existing product for you to decide whether you can just increase price at introduction or, you know, reduce price, scheming, penetration and so forth. So PED is a, a guide you use and a forecast because you're relying on past information to, to forecast in the future, but it should not be used as a sole determinant of price change. There you go. Hope you understood a little bit on PED today. Thank you for watching. And in the next video, we are already going to move into place as the final uh, bit in the marketing mix. Thank you for watching.